afternoon everyone and here we are it's Thursday special and it's Thursday the 29th of October and it's half term I hope you're all having a really really good half term week hope you've been able to do some exciting things weather hasn't been brilliant has it but I hope you've been able to do some really good things during half term so let's start Thursday special this afternoon by singing a couple of songs together let's get on our feet let's be energetic and let's start by singing Jesus went out of his way out of his way out of his way to help others are we ready here we go Jesus went out of his way, out of his way, out of his way to help others. Jesus went out of his way, out of his way, out of his way to do right. So let's go out of our way, out of our way, out of our way to help others. Let's go out of our way, out of our way, out of our way to do right. When I was hungry, did you feed me when I was thirsty? Did you give me a drink, an outsider? Did you welcome me or did you turn me away? Jesus went out of his way, out of his way, out of his way to help others. Jesus went out of his way, out of his way, out of his way to do right. So let's go out of our way. Excellent. And that says, so let's go out of our way to help others. Let's sing another one. Let's do God loves you when the sun is in the sky. God loves you when the moon is riding high. Are we ready? Here we go. Fabulous. Now, a quick message for you. 
just in case you haven't got this message already. This Saturday will be the 31st of October. It's the day that people often call Halloween. And it's the day that at church we always do a treat or treat pyjama party. We can't do a treat or treat pyjama party at church, so we're going to do it online. So this Saturday, it will be live on our website in exactly the same place as you find Thursday special online. It will be live from five o'clock on Saturday. There'll be a video. On the video, there will be games to play. There will be songs to sing stories to listen to and all sorts of other things and there will be activities to go alongside that also on the website but if you live in Hales Owen you can come beforehand you can come Saturday morning up to church to collect a bag with all the activities in and with lots and lots and lots of treats in Okay, you need to let us know if you're coming for a bag so that we make the right number of bags up. But you can collect one of those Saturday morning. Now, let me just tell you this before we move on. What would be really, really, really good on Saturday evening is if you joined in treat or treat with your grown ups. You can put your pyjamas on. You can watch it any time you like after five o'clock. Put your pyjamas on, lounge around in the living room and do it with your grown-ups. There are some games that they might like to join in as well. And if you collect one of the bags from church, there is a game in there that your grown-ups can set up for you beforehand. Okay? So see what your grown-ups say, see if they'll watch it with you. Right, so that's this Saturday. Don't forget! Okay, we have been learning to do, to say, and to do with sign language, the Lord's Prayer. Do you remember? Let's say that together, the Lord's Prayer. Let's just think, see if we can remind ourselves about what we've learned so far. We've learned this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Did you manage to remember all of that that we've learned so far? Did you? Shall we give it a go again? Try it with me. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Did you manage to remember that? I bet you did, because you're actually really good at this. The next part of the Lord's Prayer goes like this. Give us today our daily bread. Try that with me. Give us today our daily bread. Let's try that once more, then we'll see if we can put the whole thing that we've learned so far together. Are you ready? So it's, give us today our daily bread. Remember, I'm, I'm learning this as we go along as well. I know the Lord's Prayer, I've known it a long time, but I'm learning the sign language as well. So if I hesitate a little bit, it's because I'm trying to learn it at the same time. Let's see if we can do it from the beginning, all that we've learned so far. Are we ready? The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. The next word is actually and, so the next bit follows on, but we're going to leave it there for now. We'll do that bit next week. Give us today our daily bread. We'll be thinking about that shortly. Before we do, a few questions, a quick quiz from last week. So put your thinking caps on, turn your brains on, get into gear. I know it's half term, but see if you can answer these questions from Thursday special last week. This is just one where you have got to shout the answer out at the screen. So if you're in the same room as a brother or sister, or anything, anybody else, you might see if you can shout it out before they do. So, in our stories last week, we were thinking about the kingdom of God, or the kingdom of heaven, weren't we? Do you remember? And we said there was a man in one of the stories, and he found something really, really, really precious. Can you remember what it was he found that was really precious? Whoa, did you all shout loud? I think you did. You're right, he found a pearl. It was an amazing pearl. Second question, what did the man do so that he could have the pearl? Can you remember what he did? Are you shouting it out? Yep, he, he sold everything that he had so that he could buy that pearl because it was so, so precious and so special. And Jesus told that story that the kingdom of heaven was like a pearl that was so amazing and so special that that man sold everything that he had so that he could have it. Okay, here's the next question. Jesus also said that the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven was like a seed. Can you remember what kind of seed it was? Hmm. Did you remember? It was a tiny little seed. It was called a mustard seed. Well done if you remembered to say that. It was a mustard seed. And if you planted this mustard seed, what would happen to it? Do you remember? Yeah, I showed you a picture, didn't I? I showed you a picture of, of what's sometimes called a mustard tree or a mustard bush. And it was huge, absolutely huge. That tiny seed grew into something huge. And Jesus said the kingdom of heaven was like that mustard seed. And it started as something very, very small. But as people become part of God's kingdom, it grows and it grows and it grows and it grows. Here's your next question. You could give lots of different answers to this. So if you are in a room with somebody else, you can all shout out your answers and your answers might be different, but they might be similar. I wish I could hear the answers that you were giving to this. When we talked about the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven last week, I told you some things about the kingdom of God, about the kingdom of heaven. I wonder if you can remember what any of those things were. See what you can remember, and you might have more than one answer, so just shout them all out. Mm. I'm wondering what you're saying. I'm hoping you're giving answers like, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is, is, is amazing. It's perfect because it's what God creates. I, I'm hoping that you're giving answers like, there will be, when we're in heaven, when we leave this world and we're in heaven, there will be no pain, no death, no sadness. And you remember, when God made our world, that's what he made it like. That's what he wants it to be like. Okay. And final one. What kind of things... This is quite a difficult question to understand, so see if you can get your head around this. What kind of things on earth 
would God, God's kingdom look like? So what kind of things can we do to help God to build his kingdom on earth? That's a hard one. Again, I wish I could hear your answers, but have a think. And if you think you've got an answer, shout it out. Okay, the kind of answers I'd love to hear you saying were things like to build God's kingdom in our world, to help him to bring his kingdom into our world. We can worship him, we love him, we show that we love him by loving and caring for one another. I'm hoping you were saying things like that because God wants us to be part of his kingdom now and to, to help to make our world more like the way his kingdom should be, the way he wants it to be. Wow, I wish I'd been able to hear some of your answers. But anyway, let's sing another song together. Let's sing the song Takwaba Uwaba Nge Yezu. Are you ready? Here we go. Takwaba. Takwaba Uwaba Nge Yezu. Takwaba Uwaba Nge Yezu. Takwaba Uwaba Nge Yezu. Takwaba Takwaha Kabe. Na yenda yenda. Con se, con se, na fwaya, fwaya, con se, con se, na shinga luka, con se, con se, takwaba, takwaha kabe. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like him. I walk, who walk, who here, there. I search, he search, he here, there. I turn around, he here, there. There's no one, there's no one like him. Excellent. So, the part of the Lord's Prayer that we learnt today said this. Give us today our daily bread. Give us today our daily bread. Hmm. I wonder what that means. I wonder if you like bread. Do you like bread? I like bread. I like, I particularly like wholemeal bread and I really like it if it's got seeds on the outside of it and seeds inside it, that's yummy. And I like bread done as toast. I like bread um, cut up and dipped into soup. I like bread made into sandwiches. To be quite honest, I just like bread spread with some butter as well bread but but when when we pray to God give us give us today our daily bread we don't expect God to stand in the kitchen making bread and then to come and bring it to our door like the old-fashioned bakers used to do that's not what we mean so I wonder what we do mean Jesus said this he said imagine a boy and imagine that that boy says to his dad, 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 can I have some bread, please? Hmm, what do you think the dad would do? Do you think the dad would say, yes, here you are. And instead of giving his son some bread, do you think he would give him a rock or a stone instead? Hmm, if you're grown-ups, if you said to your grown-ups, Mom or Dad or whoever, I'm hungry. And they said, here you are, and gave you a rock or a stone. What would you think? <sighs> Can't eat that. Your grown-ups wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that because they love you. Or supposing you said, this is another part of what Jesus said. Jesus said, supposing that boy said, Dad, Dad, I'm hungry. Can I have some fish? I don't know if you like fish. Maybe you like fish fingers or maybe you like battered fish from the fish and chip shop 
or maybe you like tuna in sandwiches. So imagine the boy says, Dad, Dad, can I have some fish? And supposing the dad said, yes, here you go then, and gave him a snake. Oh, no, a dad wouldn't do that. If you're grown-ups, if you said to your grown-ups, I'm hungry, can I have some fish or can I have some sausage or whatever, they wouldn't give you a snake, would they? And they wouldn't do that because they love you. Jesus said, if a boy says to his dad, Dad, can I have some bread? The dad's not going to say, here you are, have a stone. Or if the boy says, Dad, can I have some fish? The dad's not going to say, here you are, have a snake instead. Because the dad loves his boy and the dad wants to give him good things. Your grown-ups love you. And sometimes you might ask for things and they might say, no, you can't have that. You might ask for lots of sweets and they might say, no, you can have some, but you can't have lots because there's too much sugar and sugar's not good for you. But if you ask them for the food that you need, your grown-ups will give it to you. You don't even have to ask, do you? They give it to you anyway, because they love you. If you ask them for clothes to wear, they'll give you clothes to wear. If you're cold and you say, I need something warmer, they'll find you something warmer to put on, because they love you. And most of the time, you don't even have to ask them because they think, oh, it's cold today. Let's help you to find something warm to put on because they love you. And the Bible says that God gives us the things that we need. He gives us good things because he loves us. And you know something? It says in the Bible, look at the birds. They don't worry about what they're going to eat because God gives it to them. Look at the flowers. They don't worry about what God's going to wear because God makes them look beautiful anyway. It says in the Bible that God will give us the things we need, not just food and clothes, but God gives us love. God gives us faith to help us believe in him. God gives us forgiveness when we do things that are bad he will forgive us and love us God gives us love for other people so that we can love and care for other people that goes back to what we were saying last week about asking God to bring his kingdom here give us today our daily bread we're not saying hey god give us some bread that's not what we're saying we're saying god please give us the things that we need so that we can follow you so that we can grow to know you better so that we can be part of your kingdom Well, I'm glad that God loves me so much and that he loves you so much. We're going to sing one more song before we finish today. And we're going to sing the song. If you've got somebody you can do it with, then find somebody you can do it with. We're going to do trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Here we go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. This is what it says in Proverbs 3 verse 5. Don't rely on what you've got. Learn to rely on the Lord a bit faster. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Trust Lord, with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. This 
hand. And let's finish our time together this afternoon by praying together. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Lord God, we thank you for the things that we've been learning about this afternoon. We thank you that you will give us the things that we need from you. Thank you that you give us grown-ups who love us and will give us the things that we need. And you will give us the things that we need. Thank you that we can ask and you will give those things to us. Help us to trust in you. Help us to believe and have faith in you. Lord, I pray that you will be with each one of us in all of the things that we're doing over half term as we enjoy treat or treat together on Saturday. And as we go back to school next week, please be with us and keep us safe, Lord. And those people that we love, we pray that you will be with them and keep them safe and well as well, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Amen. See you again soon. Bye.